Those were the strangest goons I'd ever seen. I didn't know what game they were playing, but I think I just got on the scoreboard. Maxwell was shook up, seeing his apartment getting trashed like that. He had a lot of questions, and I didn't have a lot of answers. I didn't want to bust open the cigars and congratulate him on his expected child because I don't think he was expecting a child. Maybe he could clear up a few questions about Rosetta Stone. What can you tell me about this photograph? This was taken in Rosetta Stone's laboratory. She killed herself. Really? She jumped off the Calgary Tower three days ago. You seem surprised. It was in all the papers. That was Rosetta Stone. She jumped off the Calgary Tower. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, wow. I had this dream about the Calgary Tower last night. It was one of those dreams where you're trying to get somewhere and you just can't, no matter how hard you try. How well did you know her? What exactly is going on here? Who are those guys? What I do they want? I don't know. That's why I'm asking the question. Who are you working for? A client. Those guys poking around Rosetta Stone's lab were after your address. You'd be talking to them now. Only I got there first. So what about this Rosetta Stone? How did you get messed up with her? Don't get up. Hi. Hello, I'm Dr. Rosetta Stone. I'm Maxwell. I see you broke your leg. Oh, yeah, car accident. Well, what happened? I was driving home from the observatory. It was early in the morning. I don't really remember what happened. I've completely blocked it out. I was laid up in the apartment for a week or so. I was working at this greasy spoon called the Burden Bee, but I couldn't work with the cast on. So I was getting pretty hard up. Then I heard that I could earn money by participating in this psychology study on the effects of caffeine on dreams. And that's where I met Rosetta Stone. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, we'll start with just a few easy questions. So may I have your full name, please? Maxwell Clark. Okay, and what do you do? I'm an astronomer. I, actually, I'm a graduate student. Are you a heavy sleeper, Maxwell? Yeah. And do you dream easily? Yeah. Do you have many nightmares? Mm, no. Well, sometimes. Any history of madness in the family? I'm not really sure. I was adopted, actually. It was easy. All I had to do was drink coffee, sleep overnight in the lab, and then report my dreams when she woke me up. That was it. I had some pretty strange dreams. Like what? what? What kind of dreams? Well, that's why I thought it was strange, you know, that you asked me about the Calgary Tower. Because I kept having this dream about the Calgary Tower. Three things I don't do. Tan, date, and sing in public. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody wanch to fun tonight. Dandruff, scratching, itching. Introducing new Neutrogena T-Gel Stubborn Itch Control with cooling menthol you feel on contact. Unlike self-control, it works. Ask any dermatologist. I love you, and I'm going to see you soon, and you know what that means. Hey, Dave, From hey, Robert Zemeckis, director of Forrest Gump, a test of the spirit. Hello! I have fire! An adventure of the heart. Jack! You were lost for four years. Hold on! We had a funeral, coffin. What was in it? The end of his journey is only the beginning. Tom Hanks, Castaway, Friday only in theaters. The best career advice I ever got was from my father. He told me, 
that what I did mattered a whole lot less than why I did it. He said, if you work at something simply to make money, that work will soon become labor. But on the other hand, if you work at something because you really want to do it, it becomes a labor of love. CareerClick.com. Make a career move. Big on taste, but low on cash? Try the new BK Cravers menu from Burger King. Spicy jalapeno poppers, $1.79. Cheesy mozzarella sticks, $1.79. Savory chicken tenders, $1.49. The tasty chicken tender sandwich, $1.49. And the flame broiled bullseye barbecue deluxe, $1.49. Five mouth-watering ways to satisfy your cravings. Burger King, awesome taste, incredible value every day. Another pizza delivery. It's not delivery, it's Delicio. Could have fooled me. Delicio Rising Crust Pizza bakes up fresh like Pizzeria Pizza. Wait a minute. So you mean... Yep, you'll never have to tip that delivery guy again. Yes! It's not delivery, it's Delicio from Kraft. This holiday, give the gift bill break the second it's out of the box. Terry's Chocolate Orange. The smooth chocolate with a touch of orange flavor. You whack and unwrap. Terry's Chocolate Orange. Smashing great taste. Kind of like the Calgary Stampede, except that it was an older, like an old time fair with a lot of sideshows and tents. And there was this one tent where a creepy old guy was ringing a big bell. He was going on and on about his attraction, something about a somnambulist who could tell the future. A lot of people seemed scared to go in, but eventually I decided to try it. And few of the others followed. Inside the tent, the old guy appeared on the stage and announced that he would wake the Somnobulus, whose name was Caesar. The curtain opened, and there was this Caesar salad. But somehow it was a talking Caesar salad. And it went out, and I asked it a question. I remember I, uh, I asked it about my future. Rosetta wanted me to come back for some more tests. She said I was a very good subject. This guy was a sucker. You could put him on a stick and slap a wrapper on him. Rosetta Stone must have drugged the coffee and then seized the day.
was in a big old hotel in the mountains. I was looking for a woman. Yeah, I was looking for a woman in the hotel. I remember walking down corridors, through halls, galleries, in this structure from another century. An enormous, luxurious, baroque, lugubrious hotel where endless corridors succeed silent, deserted corridors overloaded with the dim, cold ornamentation of woodwork, stucco, moldings, marbles, dark years, dim paintings, columns, moose heads, sculptured door frames, galleries, transverse corridors that open in turn on empty rooms, rooms overloaded with an ornamentation from another century, silent halls where the sound of advancing footsteps is absorbed by carpets so thick and heavy that no sound can be heard. that big old hotel in the mountains. And then I was in a theater where an audience was watching a play. walking again through the hotel, but everyone was frozen like statues. And I arrived at a room where there were people talking and laughing. Then I saw her, the woman I was looking for. To talk to her, but she turned away. And then I turned and saw myself playing tic tac toe against another man. I told Rosetta Stone about this dream. She got very excited. She asked me about it in uh, great detail. She even made me try to remember all the moves I played in the tic-tac-toe game. 
it seemed really odd. I mean, what could this possibly tell her about caffeine? Caffeine experiments? I wonder if any of the other two-bit guinea pigs had found out she was populating the world with their wet dreams. Anything between you and her? No. Nothing else happened? No, I slept. She woke me. I told her my dreams. Seems Rosetta was going to send you a postcard. I figured I better deliver it. Okay. Now, the next experiment that we'll be doing involves you taking a look at an image. And I want you to keep that image in your mind as you fall asleep. Because then what I'll be doing later on this evening is waking you up to ask you about your dreams. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, so here's the image. So you just want me to focus on it? That's right. Just okay. look at it and keep it in your mind as you fall asleep. Okay. Okay. What do you know about Maxwell's demon? Oh, I'm sorry I read your mail. Maxwell's demon? Yeah. It was an experiment that the 19th century physicist James Clerk Maxwell thought about. Well, keep talking. It had to do with thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics says that there's a fixed amount of energy in the universe. You can't change it. Heat is work, and work is heat. Exactly. The second law says that although that energy is fixed, it is constantly getting more and more disorganized over time. Heat cannot, of itself, pass from one body into a hotter body. That's right. Why do you know so much about thermodynamics? Are you kidding? This is the kind of business a guy needs to know a thing or two about entropy. So, this demon... Well, Maxwell thought that if you had a little creature, a demon, small enough to be able to sort individual atoms, you could break the second law. If that demon could operate a small frictionless door and let only the faster atoms from one chamber into a second chamber, the second chamber would be hotter than the other. The hotter, the more ordered the energy. It would reverse the entropy of the second law, not by adding energy, but by adding information. I thought it might have something to do with you, your name being Maxwell. Well, we all have our demons. One more question. You ever heard of Osgood Schlatter? A person named Osgood Schlatter? Yeah. No, but there is a disease called Osgood Schlatter's disease. Oh yeah? What's that? It's an osteochondria of the tuberosity of the tibia that occurs especially in adolescent males. Swollen leg joints? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you should go back to your apartment right now. I'm gonna play witness protection program with you. You can crash here until I sort this thing out. I gotta go. Stay out of trouble. It's uncomfortable. Take cover! It's a trap! Oh, man, Foster, I just saw this television promo with your face plastered all over it. You look really good on screen. I think you could actually make it in television. Just what I need. Publicity. Ever wonder about the future of television? Well, at Star Choice, we do. In the future, your TV will know what you want to watch, find similar shows, even record them for you. In the future, you'll be able to do all this during a live game. And even talk to a friend about it. Total control of how you watch TV. That's how we see the future. Star Choice, it's your television.
she must face the music. For Susan, that's life. This restaurant's my passion. It's also my small business. It's called Geo's. Some people call it the nose. And this is my card. The American Express corporate card for small business. I'm fussy. I only buy the best. Calamari, Italian tomatoes, basil. That's why I chose this card. I think it's the best. I even save money with the suppliers I use every day with this new small business savings program. And with Amex, there's no preset spending limit. So my cash flow flows. I get points, too. Now, if I could only find time to take a vacation. I have access to a management report that tells me how much I've spent and where. He needs help with this boy. Thanks, Rose. This is great. Call today to put your name and your business's name on the American Express corporate card for small business. Business is booming. Touch plastic. Call 1-888-876-AMEX to apply for the American Express corporate card for small business and do more. Dance. You want to fly. You're going to jump. Help keep the life in your clothes with new deep clean liquid tie. Now that's new. Liquid Tide can tackle this tough stain with a new enzyme that cleans it deep down like no other leading powder detergents can to keep clothes looking great. New Deep Clean Liquid Tide. Keep the life in your clothes. Get online at spacecast.com. Surging across the net, feeding space to the world. Space News Daily. The Conspiracy Guy. Space Bar. They're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Daily listings, contests and games, yeah. space links, and so much more. I know you're here. All at spacecast.com. Your online source for science fact, science fiction, and fantasy. <laughs> So, let's talk about the birds and the bees. I wanted a child. I found out about Rosetta Stowe, and I heard she performed artificial insemination. Not officially, or you wouldn't have hired me. Yes, she was discreet. I would say she was exceptionally discreet. Even the donors didn't know about it. They thought they were offering themselves up as guinea pigs to the greater good of science. You have to understand, men are so possessive about their sperm. One grunt, and they think they've contributed. They don't call it labor for nothing, you know. This isn't your first time in the labor force, is it? This is the first time I'm doing it right. Helvetica Bold had a chip on her shoulder. And it wasn't a chocolate chip either. I was young. Really young. I can't even remember what he looked like now. He was older. Anyway, I got pregnant and he forbade me from having the child. It made me so angry I ran away. I went to Banff. I worked as a chambermaid. I was at the Bamp Springs Hotel or Lake Louise. I forget which. But he found me. He said that I promised him that we'd run away. I pretended not to know him. What was wrong with this guy? Oh, he was too... He was too strange. He was too like my father. And his name was Francis Neil Stein. Frankenstein, eh? And Helvetica isn't really my name, you know. Oh, really? My name used to be Phyllis. So if you had married him, your name would have been Phyllis? Yes. What happened to the kid? I gave him up for adoption. I haven't seen him since. And now you want a kid? Yes. What if it's the child of an astronomer named Maxwell? What do you mean? The day planner I got from Rosetta Stone's office says you had an appointment right after an astronomer named Maxwell. I don't want him to find out. This is my child. Do you think this has something to do with Rosetta's note? Something's up. There's two guys after him. You know who they are? No. Why should I? 
She knew more than she was willing to tell me, but I'd put a few of the pieces together myself. There were just too many coincidences. Maxwell had dreamed about the Calgary Tower just before Rosetta Stone took the dive. Now Dollface here was flapping her lip about some big hotel. And Maxwell had dreamed about that too. I needed to find out what these experiments were all about. I had the videotapes Rosetta Stone had made in the lab. I hoped Maxwell might remember something if he saw them. No, but I recognized the voice. His name was Heisenberg. He was the one who had left a message for Osgood Schlatter at Rosetta Stone's lab. After that, everything will connect. Proceed. <laughs> I had an address from the lab. That led me here. So this guy Heisenberg was the principal of this high school. He got involved in those experiments and then he just wandered off. They picked him up a couple of days later wearing a dress. He didn't know who he was until they told him. And then he didn't know where he was. Principal? Yeah? Principal Heisenberg. What? Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Say you're looking at a subatomic particle. You can never tell where it is and what it is with absolute certainty. You can't observe something without changing what it is you're looking at. Exactly. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and Maxwell's demon. Doesn't that seem like a bit of an odd coincidence to you? We don't call them coincidences in this business. We call them clues. One that is responsible for L. Osgood Slatter defeated to a chicken. Tell Osgood Slatter defeated to a chicken. I listened to the message he'd left. I recognized the background sound. It was the planetarium. Maxwell. Was he getting nutty on me like Heisenberg? Forrester has won award 
after award. After award. So what have we done for an encore? Made it even better. Introducing the totally restyled Subaru Forester with our best all-wheel driving system ever. And the awards? Still plenty of cargo space to hold them all. Subaru Forester. Sport utility tough. Car easy. Can you see what's so special about the new Braun Synchro? It's the first shaver whose head moves from side to side, so it captures more hair and cuts closer. Only it moves so fast you can't see it. But you can hear it. And to keep it feeling like a new shaver every day, here's how to clean it. Introducing Magic Bag, the one and only all-natural thermotherapeutic pad, the effective solution to relieve pain and everyday stress. Available in two sizes and made from 100% natural elements, Magic Bag embraces marvelously every part of your body. So easy to use, it can be chilled in the freezer or heated in the microwave. It's applied directly onto skin and is neither too hot nor too cold. Magic Bag, an indispensable product for heat or cold therapy that relieves pain effectively and brings a calming relaxation. Magic Bag maintains its therapeutic temperature for approximately 30 minutes. Here is your chance to get the Magic Bag Duo, including both sizes in their individual packages valued at $39.98 for only $29.95. To order now, call 1-866-719-9991 and in no time at all, you will experience Magic Bag's thermotherapeutic power. May good fortune be with you, may your guiding light be strong, and may sunshine and happiness surround you when you're far from home, but whatever road you choose, I'm right behind you, win or lose, forever young, forever young, forever young. Tuesday. Locked on and tracking, turning south at Inglewood. In a time of technological warfare. Hey, the found me! A new breed of law enforcement. They are fully mobilized. They can go anywhere. They can be anywhere. It takes on a new breed of crime. Level 9. I know why you're here. What do you know about Maxwell's demon? Maxwell's demon? Maxwell's demon? Maxwell's demon will sort out the mess. <laughs> but we all have our demons. Who is Rosetta Stone? Huh? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. You know who Rosetta Stone is, don't you? Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Who is Osgood Schlatter? One thinks that one is tracing the outline of the thing's nature over and over again, and one is merely tracing round the frame which we look at it. Why did you call Rosetta Stone asking for Osgood Schlatter? You should leave me alone. I'm waiting for the eclipse. The eclipse. The eclipse. Listen to me. Who is Osgood Schlatter? He is Osgood Schlatter. What are you talking about? Do you know who your father is? 
<laughs> and you know how to unscramble an egg? I guess you feed it to a chicken. And all the king's horses. And all the king's men. <laughs> You're a good man, sister. What happened to him? His mind's been scrambled. Same thing that's gonna happen to you. Looks like we better find out what Rosetta Stone was really up to. What next? I got some more mail to deliver. The postcard was addressed to Leonard O. His real name was Chris Spinner, an artist. He had changed his name to Leonard O when he had been a big shot abstract painter in New York. Now he was back in Cowtown and had ended up at the dream shop. Okay, here goes. I um, dreamed that I was walking all alone on a road at the edge of a precipice. There was only room for one person. And then all of a sudden, two twins appear in front of me. Two twins walking in front, and I wonder how are they gonna get through? Then, um, all of a sudden, one twin makes his way toward the other, and they uh, reunite. They, they, uh, they form one single person. I'm interested in the artist. What can you tell me about him? His name is Leonard O, and his work is based on the concept of Leonardo da Vinci, that a true artist can draw a perfect circle freehand. Thanks very much. One thinks that one is tracing the outline of the thing's nature over and over again, and one is merely tracing around the frame through which we look at it. That's what Heisenberg was saying. Yeah. thinks that one is tracing the outline of the thing's nature over and over again, but one is merely tracing around the frame through which we look at it. Suicide of Rosetta Stone, I believe you knew her. You were part of her tests. Have you noticed anything unusual since then? Yeah. These drawings. Every time I draw a circle, I see something. 
you mean? I saw it too. It was like a flash. That's right. It's like a memory trying to be remembered. What do you mean? I traced the circle, and then I saw the car crash, and then a severed ear. A severed ear? Yeah. I see all sorts of things. Images from the future. I know who you are. Me. You killed Osgood Schlatter. What do you mean? The car crash. I saw the car crash, too. You said you didn't remember the car crash. I woke up in the hospital. They said I must have fallen asleep and crashed off the road. You killed Osgood Schlatter. Who is Osgood Schlatter? <laughs> Day. Thanks. Maybe you missed us the first time, right? Can I offer you a cigarette? playing only in theaters. I always knew the difference between a job and a career. A job was doing the same thing day after day. A career offered challenges, surprises, the opportunity to grow and advance. What I didn't realize was that sometimes a career can stall, and then it's just a job. CareerClick.com. Make a career move. I want a career again. We've got a woman in distress. This will be messy. Back away from the stove, man. Stubborn grease. Here's the facts. Fantastic wipes out tough kitchen grease. So it's one tough clean. What's that? It's nothing. Fantastic leaves no greasy residue. This stuff is pretty good. No, man. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Tough on crime. Have you heard about the fast way to earn Air Miles Reward Miles? The American Express Air Miles Credit Card. The no-fee credit card that earns you reward miles faster and lets you carry a balance. To apply, call one 356 mx You'll get reward miles virtually every time you use it. And at participating Air Miles sponsors, you can earn reward miles from both cards. But you get more than a fast way to earn reward miles. As an American Express card member, you'll get worldwide service that goes the extra mile. American Express, how may I help you? Call today to put your name on this American Express Air Miles credit card that lets you carry a balance. Plus, for the first six months, you'll enjoy a 5.9% interest rate on balance transfers. And you'll get 100 bonus reward miles the first time you use it. Call one 356 mx for the American Express Air Miles credit card. The no-fee credit card that can help you do more. Call today. Dandruff. Scratching. Itching. Introducing new Neutrogena T-Gel Stubborn Itch Control with cooling menthol you feel on contact. Unlike self-control, it works. Ask any dermatologist. Engage. Mondays on space. We have the technology to travel backward. Backward. Into the past. Let's move. All new sci-fi adventure and intrigue. What is this? The future. Good luck, Frank. Thank you, sir. You always go soft when we're about to launch. A time machine for the 21st century. We have to go back. Go back. Seven days. All new. Mondays on Space. The 
orchestra is playing Beethoven Ninth Symphony. Yes. And the bass part in the third movement is quite boring. Uh huh. So the bass section slips out to have a drink. Yeah. Just down the street. But. But they don't want to miss the grand finale, the final movement. Of course. So they tie a note to the conductor's score, asking him not to start without them. Yes. So down at the bar, they had a few drinks, and then a few more. And before they know it, they're quite plastered. And so you can imagine how the conductor feels when they finally staggered in. It's the bottom of the ninth. The bases are loaded, and the score is tied. <laughs> to the next whiskey bar. Do you mind if I ask why? Oh, please. Don't ask why. I got a call back about the car crash, and what they told me only complicated things. I checked into your car crash with some friends downtown. Some kid saw a severed ear near the site of the crash. There must have been somebody else. Doesn't seem like you're missing any ears. In the gallery, I saw a severed ear. So did that artist. Said you killed Osgood Schlatter as well. But Heisenberg said I was Osgood Schlatter. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense to me. You know more than you're telling me, don't you? There's things maybe you don't want to know. Well, I want to know what's happening to me. Look, Rosetta Stone wasn't just doing experiments about caffeine. She was after something. Something that was in your dreams. Do you know what she was after? Not yet. I gotta talk to somebody. Go back to my office. I'll meet you there later. Rosetta Stone had left behind a swell group of chumps. I'd have to have them all over for dinner. Maybe this Osgood Schlatter would show up and we could play party games. This case had more twists than a swizzle stick. It's me. We gotta meet. How soon can you be there? Good Schlatter mean anything to you? Where did you hear that name? About a year ago, Osgood Schlatter was killed in a car crash. My guess is that Osgood Schlatter was on his way to meet his son. At the same time, Maxwell was involved in a crash. Maxwell, my sperm donor? Wake up and smell the music. It's true, he wasn't lying to me then. Who? Frank. The guy who made you pregnant? He said that terrible things would happen. He said that he would be killed by our son. When did you see him last? About a year ago. He tried to convince me that his name wasn't Frank N. Stein, and that his real name was Osgood Schlatter. What else did he say? He said that it was from the future. How could I have believed a story like that? He was from the future. That's impossible. Impossible was simply what she didn't want to believe. The postcard. Oedipus. Oedipus. He killed his father and then married his mother, all without knowing Boo about it. But this was more than bad luck. This wasn't even destiny. This was a lousy setup. Rosetta Stone didn't commit suicide. She had to be from the future as well. That's why they never found her body. She knew all about Helvetica Bold and Maxwell, and she knew what she was doing in the sperm bank. If I remember correctly, Oedipus got his name for his swollen feet, and Osgood Schlatter is a name for swollen joints. Do you know who your father is? How did Heisenberg and Leonard O know about what Maxwell was dreaming? The dreams in Rosetta Stone's lab weren't just dreams. I see all sorts of things. Images from the future. 
What if he wasn't just dreaming? What if he was really there? <laughs> Maxwell's dream of a hotel. Rosetta recognized it. Could she have sent Maxwell there, back in time, back into Helvetica Bold's past? He is Osgood Schlatter. And if Maxwell was Osgood Schlatter and the woman he was looking for was Helvetica Bold, then Maxwell was not just Helvetica's sperm donor, he was also his own father. And all the king's horses. And all the king's men. <laughs> No wonder the goons are after him. Maxwell was a self-made man, someone who lived in the past, but not a past the future knew anything about. If Rosetta Stone had something to hide, Maxwell was the perfect hiding place. Only it looks like the future must have found out about it. Do you know how to unscramble an egg? You killed Osgood Schlatter. Maxwell playing chicken against Osgood Schlatter. Only Maxwell survived, and they had to come after him. That's where I tripped them up. You better come with me. But shh, 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 shh. It's a story with a beginning, a middle, and an end, but not necessarily in that order. Helvetica Bull didn't like the sound of all this, but now she knew. Maxwell, it was going to be harder to explain it to him.
data scan. Compiling. This data decodes as Humpty Dumpty. This is a prohibited program. The Humpty Dumpty, why was it prohibited? Humpty Dumpty is a temporal displacement program. It is known to create singular paradox problems and non-causal loops. You're saying the software is in my mind? Time travel is dangerous for continuity. We are from the future. Continuity must be preserved. Humpty Dumpty has been prohibited. This data will be erased. Personality functions in Maxwell, Clark. Personality displacement possibility 85%. Permanent damage possibility 65%. Stand by on personality upgrade. Replace Maxwell Clark identity function with personality profile. Francis Neil Stein and execute. As it turned out, I wasn't going to have to explain it to him after all. The poor sap. He was gone. I looked everywhere for him, but he was really gone. Thousands of piranha are headed our way. A double bill featuring James Cameron's directorial debut. Imagine that. Look at the size of these teeth. If I didn't have so much to drink tonight, I'd swear I was seeing things. The piranha! What about the damn piranha? They're eating the guests, sir. Start your holiday feeding frenzy off on the right foot. The piranha are coming! Get out of the pool! Piranha 1 and 2, The Spawning, Saturday on Space. This holiday season, give the gift of style. Ray-Bans and every other style under the sun. At Lens Crafters. The Subaru Forester has won award. After award. After award. So what have we done for an encore? Made it even better. Introducing the totally restyled Subaru Forester with our best all-wheel driving system ever. And the awards? Still plenty of cargo space to hold them all. Subaru Forester. Sport utility tough. Car easy. Black socks are the perfect gift. You got that right. Black ankle socks are, are very hip with the kids today. We have ebony black, we have jet black, we have light black. Back up, that's yeah. person. Yeah. And we have dark black. I don't know, man. What would you do? Just wouldn't be Christmas without black ankle socks. Her heart's set on the knee highs. Give a more original gift. A $0 phone with two months unlimited local calling. From Rogers AT&T Wireless. Big on taste. But low on cash. Try the new BK Cravers menu from Burger King. Spicy jalapeno poppers, 179. Cheesy mozzarella sticks, 179. Savory chicken tenders, 149. The tasty chicken tender sandwich, 149. And the flame broiled bullseye barbecue deluxe, 149. Five mouth-watering ways to satisfy your cravings. Burger King, awesome taste, incredible value every day. They were my great-great-grandfathers. They're exquisite, John. Panasonic DVD player, digital palm quarter, and plasma TV. Beautiful craftsmanship. 
to date them, I'd say. 2000, 2001? Yeah. In terms of an antique value, well, <laughs> they're very similar to today's technology. So there's no antique value at all. Panasonic, the power in digital. Introducing Glade Holiday Evergreen. Glade Holiday Candle Scents in four new decorative holiday jars. Created by nature. Captured by Glade. Race for impact. I'm from another reality. Another reality. It's extraordinary. My mind to your mind. Intruder alert. We may be the last ones left. Resistance is futile. Class one virus released. Eight and a half. Number eight and a half. Number eight and a half. Remember the code. Warning. Oedipus simplex. Warning. Oedipus simplex. Data elimination operation failed. Number eight and a half. 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 Come on, get up, walk. Take yourself a little too seriously, Maxwell. Ah, here he is. As time goes by, we get a little bit older and a little bit slower. Come on, Maxwell, everyone is waiting. Everything's all confused again. We're gonna have to sort through it. Are you afraid of the atomic bomb? Do you believe in God? Are you for or against artificial insemination? Unbalance, the Watusi, the Twist, El Dorado. this brother may it serve you well
little bit older and a little bit slower. As time goes by, we get a little bit older and a little bit slower. Was this the end of Maxwell's story? I didn't think so. But Maxwell had disappeared. I called the station again to ask about his car crash, and they didn't know what I was talking about. I looked for the records myself. This car crash didn't happen. After that, I couldn't find a record of Maxwell anywhere. It seemed like he never existed. So maybe they had succeeded in getting rid of Maxwell, or Osgood Schlatter, whoever he was. But they hadn't thought of one thing. They hadn't figured out the sperm bank angle. Rosetta Stone was making sure no one in the future could find Maxwell again. Over the next few months, I watched the papers, looking for any sign of Helvetica Bold, especially those birth announcements. And sure enough, a few months later, Mondays, from the darkest jungle, comes a new hero. See her battle evil, morph into wild animals, and most importantly, see her shower. Gina Lee Nolan is Sheena. Experience the amazing movie America's top critics call a high-velocity, mind-boggling spellbinder that breaks the laws of gravity. Four stars, a visionary adventure that raises action to the level of art. Discover the Star Wars of Kung Fu. It's high-flying. It roars and soars. It's got everything we go to the movies for. See Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Now playing... He went so quickly. From freezer to table in minutes. The Mealmaker Express from Hamilton Beach. Making the world safe for bread bags everywhere. The Cool Touch Intellitoast from Hamilton Beach. I don't have to tell you why you should quit smoking. You have your reasons. They're as good as anyone's, including mine. But if you're looking for something to help you quit, something to help control your cravings, I recommend Nicoderm. It's a patch most recommended by doctors and pharmacists. Try new Nicoderm Clear, the most discreet patch. Happy all, doctor? Thanks. You smoke? Not anymore. Nicoderm, most recommended by doctors and pharmacists. tall and green and slimy this is all i know about who we are They're the only thing we have in the place we came from i don't belong there i don't belong here i don't belong anywhere 
government agents after us, we ought to get our asses in here, don't you think? I think it's not safe out there. He's a killer, a shapeshifter, and he's out there. God, the whole thing is so Roswellian. The three of us belong together. There is a reason that we're together. 